Welcome back to Sports Line. Division four select as second seed Sutton Lab took on Central Catholic on the bluff. First quarter, Moreland Brown's pass is going to be intercepted by the safety. So not a good start from the Kittens offense. So Central Catholic is going to look to take over off that. It's going to be Cash Baker gets the handoff, but he gets no cash on that one. That's no game. He is tackled by a host of kittens. It was not cash money. No, no cash money. N not taking over for the 9-9s in the 2000s. <laughs> Second quarter, Central Catholic forced the punt, but that's going to be muffed and recovered. So the last got it Catholic. back. Oh, yeah, yeah, they got it back. They got it back. Thank you for, uh, for the assist, Jock. And on the <laughs> touchdown, it's going to be Amari and Asbury for the touchdown. Seven to nothing, Southern Lab strikes first. And then coming up is going to be Caleb DeCone looking to get some, and that goes nowhere. He's taken down for no gain. So that gets it right back to Southern Lab's offense. It's their quarterback, Marlon Brown, is going to be sacked by Caleb Willis. So a lot of good defensive highlights early on in this contest. And here comes another defensive highlight, as it's going to be Dominic Case is going to fumble, and that's going to be recovered by Chase Square of the Kittens. So Southern Lab's offense setting up shot in good field position again. Can they cash in? Marlon Brown is going to take off for the touchdown. He's going to get into the end zone 14 to nothing. So Lab takes a two touchdown lead just before halftime. And then a few plays later, Central Catholic back to punt. And Southern Lab is going to muff the punt again. So special teams, not really all that great for Southern Lab in this ballgame, but they still had the lead 14 to nothing at the break. And then on the third quarter, Southern Lab's offense may have been struggling a little bit in their special teams, but their defense was still hunting. As it's another sack by that Kittens defense. And then Lab's offense will cash in again as Joshua run. Davis fights Hard his run. way into the end zone. Ooh, nice run right there. 21-0 Southern Lab as they go on to win by the final score of 35 to nothing. I think they will play a Wachita Christian in the next round. We got the bracket coming up. Yep, that's exactly what they play. All right, I think we're on the home stretch here. We got Amy and, Amy and Gina. Gina. That's Gina, me. undefeated. Dre Unde Jenkins. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Division 3 9 select is what this is. Last season, Amy en ended Gina's uh, playoff run but tonight Gina was looking at Ford back in blood as Zurich Jones takes off for the 30-yard touchdown so Gina takes the early 6-0 lead Amy looking to get on the board now inside the 10 Jeremy Franklin hands to Christian Smith that's a touchdown for Smith but the extra point was no good well actually it was good Amy takes the lead 7-6 but Gina they get right back at it as Cameron coach Plunges in for the touchdown, so they retake the lead 14 to 7. And then it's going to be Jones again. He turns on the Jets, outpaces this defender for a 61 yard touchdown as Gina led 22 to 7 at the half. And they go on to get their payback on a meet. Final score 30 to 7 in this one. All right, we'll check in with. Uh, oh, we got the break. There's first. Gina and Union Parish. Union Parish in Farmerville, Louisiana, which is way up there close to. Uh, Arkansas. All right, we'll check in with Ascension Catholic and also how did Episcopal do at Newman coming up?